YouTube team keep it clean we've been getting so much bad news recently as Ravens fans this guy hurt this guy out this guy on injury reserve this guy done for the season so much has been happening and it's been like man when is it going to end and just to be straightforward with you there will be more there will be more injuries. It happens, but it's not just to the Ravens. It happens to literally every single football team. It's the worst part of the game, the most unfortunate part of the game, the saddest part of the game. Injuries. They happen, and they, they will still continue to happen. But this is why we got to appreciate when we get good news that much more, especially with all the bad news that we've been getting as Ravens fans. because It's been rough. Uh, and a lot of y'all have expressed uh, your feelings. Some of y'all have even taken it out on me like, Graven, stop making videos about the injuries and stuff. And it's like, we make videos about whatever's going on with the Ravens, good or bad. And whether you heard it from me or heard it from somewhere else, you are still going to hear it regardless. So we're going to continue updating you, whether it's good stuff, whether it's bad stuff and everything in between. But today, today, uh, we got the news that Hollywood has returned to practice because he had been missing practice for the past couple of days. Now, Hollywood wasn't somebody that we talked about missing practice really at all because I honestly wasn't concerned that he was missing practice. I did not think he was going to miss this game against the Chiefs. I did not think he was going to be out for any for the foreseeable future. I, I just did not think that Hollywood was going to be long term anything. I didn't even think it was going to be short term. I just I did not have any doubt in my mind that Hollywood uh, was not going to play in this upcoming game against the Chiefs. I always figured he was going to play. I always figured he was going to be fine. But he hadn't been practicing, but I just wasn't concerned. But it is still nice to hear that he returned uh, to practice today. And that's a beautiful thing. Because this is a game for Hollywood. This is a big game for Hollywood. Why? Well, because it's prime time. And just because it's his Instagram handle, and I think it's his Twitter handle as well, Primetime Jet, it's him. It's not just the handle, it's real life. He is a primetime jet. When the lights are on, when the stage is the biggest, that's when he shines the most. Because yeah, you could hate Hollywood all you want to. You could talk about this, talk about that. But one thing you can never deny is that when everything's on the line, he shows up. Now, somebody else who is just scary to think about. It, it was just, I, I, I was worried about it. Especially because of what we had heard from everybody else who went through the same thing. It was Devin DuVernay. And yesterday we talked about Devin DuVernay. He had the groin injury. And it was like, man, groin injury, those things could linger. And you just, you just never know with a groin injury. And with Devin DuVernay, when they said that, I just automatically thought, Rashad Bateman. Mm. Marlon Humphrey. Because mm, mm, mm. the, the, the groin, the, the, the area of the groin and the abdomen and whatnot, it, it, it's tough to judge. Um, and it was just a lot of scary thoughts came into my mind. And I certainly, if you would have asked me yesterday, even if you would have asked me this morning before practice happened, oh, you think Devin DuVernay is going to be back there? No, not at all. Nope. Don't think it's happening. Nope. But Devin DuVernay returned. And that was a beautiful thing to hear. It's a beautiful thing to see. Uh, well, see on Twitter and stuff from guys who do the, uh, the practice and stuff. But anyway... It was so nice to hear that Devin DuVernay was back because with Devin DuVernay, um, what he brings to the game, just again, the, the element of explosiveness. And I know there's, there were some people I saw in the comment section, they were like, all right, well, now to well, Proche and Tylen Wallace, they better than him anyway. It's their time. And everybody's, of course, entitled to feel how they feel. But Devin DuVernay in the return game alone, uh, plays a big part, a big part, because I'm I'm expecting him at some point in this season to get a punt return for a touchdown. I'm expecting it because he got it, man. He got it. That 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 big playability on special teams is there. And we of course saw, and it just so happened to be in a Chiefs game last year when he got the kick return for a touchdown. So we know he can do that. That 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 element is in his game. So if and when that does happen as well this season, it won't be a surprise. It'll be a beautiful thing, though. But I'm, I'm expecting him to get a punt return, too, especially because of opportunity. And opportunity plays such a big part in everything. Last year, 
he got some opportunity, but it was toward the end of the season. And we talk about, especially with Yannick Ngakwe's comments, which made a lot of sense, but we talk about opportunity. The more you get op- at an opportunity, the more reps you get, then the more comfortable you get and the better you can get at something. And that's what it was with Devin DuVernay. Early on, it was Proche, of course. Uh, but then when they traded for Yannick Ngakwe, the numbers game, they, they had to make some decisions, some business decisions. And they were like, OK, well, we passed the ball to this guy Proche like one or two times all season. Yeah, go ahead and have him on the inactive list. And then they had DuVernay, who was a jet sweep king last year. Uh, and they put him at punt returner because he was already a kick returner, but they put him at punt return, too. Um, so, I, I, like I said, I, I expect him to do well, give him more opportunity. Um, and, and just speaking of opportunity, something that uh, with Yannick Ngakwe, his comments, is just something to watch for this, uh, this upcoming season moving forward. Because with the, uh, the pass rush, um, we know the pass rush has been a big concern. But if you can't let guys get into a rhythm... Um, you, you do keep, and we talked about this before, you keep taking guys on and off and on and off and on and off, then that makes it harder for them to get into a rhythm. And that's really really with any position. You look at Tyson Williams. Of course, we heard the presser yesterday from Greg Roman because uh, he was asked, hey, why, why, why'd you take off Tyson Williams? What was that about, Greg? Come on now, buddy. Why'd you take off Tyson? And he said um, that it was just about getting the other running backs opportunities. Because he was like, oh, the, the, the days of just having one running back, um, the days of just having one running back as your guy, those days are long gone. Well, as Ravens fans, yes, we do know that. But we also know uh, the days early on in, in, a, in a regular season of going with the hot hand, those days, I wish those days would return. Because those days for years have been long gone with the Ravens. Because we remember last year, and we just, we don't want to base Greg Roman on last year, and we don't want to just, we can't judge him off of one game. But our thing, we just do not want to see the same tendencies. We don't want to see the same tendencies. Because last year, early on in the season, they had the young running backs, obviously J.K. and Gus the Young, and they had Mark Ingram, but they kept force feeding Mark Ingram when J.K. and Gus were hot. They kept doing that, and it was like, man, what, why, for what? What are you doing? And we saw that throughout the beginning of the season. But then when Mark started being deactivated, it was like, oh. And then guess what happened? We saw the running game pick up. We saw it pick up. And we knew that was the beginning of the end for Mark Ingram with the Ravens. But this year, just in the first game alone, so it's only been one game. So one thing we got to watch for is tendencies. We can't base everything on one game. We got to watch for tendencies. So we got to hope that Ravens don't do this to where, all right, we got to share it with everybody. And we know pass protection was a part of it. And we know that the, the, the handoff the, with, with Lamar and uh, Tyson was a part of it. And we know the fumble out of bounds from Tyson was a part of it. But still, as a runner, like as a pass protector, okay. But if you're going to be doing running plays, I would have had Tyson still in there, man. I would have still had him in there. And, yes, the, uh, his big run obviously boosted up his numbers and, 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 and boosted up his stats and his average, his yards per carry and all that. But even if you take the big, number, the big run out for the touchdown, it was, he was still running better than Latavius Murray. And again, with Latavius Murray, we're not judging him based off of that one game. We're not judging his entire season based off of that one game. But we're just judging that one game based off of that one game. So Tyson Williams was the more effective runner in my eyes, than a Latavius Murray. So in my eyes, they should have stuck with Tyson uh, Williams that much more. I was about to say Tyson Murray. Um, so we'll see how things go. Now, I know a lot of y'all probably look, have been looking at me crazy this entire video. Um, but I had this on my head since earlier this morning. And I was like, you know what? Because things are different right now. Th- things are crazy for this video. That's why you see the background. All the colors are changing and stuff. It's going crazy and whatnot. Uh, and then you see this thing that I would never usually wear on my head for a video. Around the house, I wear it all day. But for a video. But, so I was like, it's like we, we like in an alternate like universe or something. Because things are just crazy. It's, it's like it's a dream. It's like it's a dream. Because normally, like recently, we've been talking about a lot of bad news with the Ravens. But now we're on the flip side. And we're talking about something good. So hopefully all this stuff continues to happen. Hopefully all this stuff continues to go down. But we'll see when we see. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all so much. 
Thank you for 45,000 subscribers.